hello guys welcome back to good Charo tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix assassin's creed while hala is crashing but it is having not launching stuttering freezing low fps drop black screen issue and all these kind of issues have how you can successfully fix this up and that's what we are going to talk about and if you're for the first time don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos so let's move uh, let's move to the workaround so the first one is all about you just have to follow the instruction so the first one uh, you just have to do is you just have to do is just have to clear the download cache in the steam for that just go over here in the steam now click over here at the top click on steam and go to settings now from here go to download and over here as you can see there is an option called clear download cache so you have to click on this and go for ok now if you do this as you can see it will be the most easiest way to the fix the issue and this is the first one and it's uh, it has worked for many of the users so we're gonna talk about the next one next one is all about you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card and that is what you have to do for that you just have to go over here search and you have to search for graphics setting now from here you just have to go over here so right now as you can see here i have already added many games it will be like this so you just have to add the game for that just click on the browse option now from here you just have to do is just have to click over here go to uh, this pc and navigate to where the game is installed so here in my case the game is installed on local disk c so if the game is installed on local disk F or E, whatever it may be, you can navigate to in that way. But most probably if it is on local disk C, that is how most game used to get over here. So if that is the way, you just have to open local disk C. Now from here, scroll down and go to program file x86. Now scroll down and navigate to Steam. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to Steam apps. Select common. Now from here, select Assassin Creed Valhalla. Now from here, you just have to navigate to the application folder, AC Valhalla over here, select this one, add it. It is added over here, so you just have to click on the options and change this to high performance. This will be by default into let Windows decide, change this to high performance and save this. Once it is done, just try to launch the game and most probably they should be completely fixed. And if it's not working, let's move to the next one. Next one is all about you have to run the game as an administrator for that you just have to navigate to the folder where the game is installed for that just right click over here now go to properties now from here click on local files now from here click on browse from here you just have to scroll down and over here as you can see this is the .exe so select this one right click and go to show more options and go to properties now from here sorry Select this one, right click and go to show more options and go to properties. Now click on compatibility. Now from here as you can see there is an option called rent this program as an administrator. Select this one and go for apply and go for ok. Once it has been set just go to the and launch the game from here and try to play the game. And if it's not the same we have to move to the next one. Parallelly you can navigate to the installer game folder like this. Just go over here on the this PC. If it is on local DC, just follow the instruction. Select this one. Go to program file 86. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to Steam. Now from here, go to Steam apps once again. Now from here, go to common. Now from here, select Assassin Creed. Now just launch this. And see, most probably from here also you have to uh, select this. Right click, show more options. Go to properties. Go to compatibility. Now click on run this program as an administrator. You have to check this. Go for apply and go for ok. Then try to launch the game and that will be also working good. Moving to the next one is all about you have to update your windows. For that it is very important for a game like when Assassin uh, Creed is running. You should be also up to date to the Windows OS also. For that just go over here in the search and click on settings. Now from here scroll down and navigate or go over here in the left and click on Windows update. Now from here you have to check whether you are on the uh, update that means you have to click on retry and you have to check for the update and if you are getting any update just install it and this is what you have to do. Most probably updating to the latest versions has worked for many of the users. 
So this is what you have to do. And when once it is successfully done, you just have to restart, then try to launch the game and that will be also working good. Moving to the next one is all about you have to verify integrity of game file. For that this is Assassin's Creed, so select the respective game, right click and go to properties. Now from here click on local files. Now from here click on verify integrity of game file. So this is going to take a little bit of time. So this particular step is very important and this has worked for many of the users when they are having these kind of issue because verify integrity of game file is all about fixing the issue. That means if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing when the update, uh, the download is being progressed, all these kind of issues will be completely fixed by this. And this is what you have to do. You just have to click on the verify integrity of game file and you have to wait for 100 percentage. And this is what we have to do because this particular step has worked for many of the users and do not neglect this step. Many users or users who are having this trouble, they neglect this, should not be doing that. Just do this. So let's move to the next one is all about you have to disable steam overlay and you have to do overlay, app, over, uh, overlay applications and you have to perform a clean boot. So let this complete. So I'll be showing you how to disable steam overlay and in between let us move to the one step which is all about how to perform a clean boot. Just go over here in the search. Now search for system configuration. Okay. Now from here open this. Now go to services. Now over here click on disable all. Sorry, you should be selecting this and go for disable all. Here I by mistake I disabled it first. So uh, select hide all Microsoft services, check this, then go for disable, go for OK. Then they will be asking you to do a restart. You can do a restart, but here I am in the middle of video. So I'm just click on exit without restart. But in your case, you have to click on restart. And once restart is done, you just have to go to the stream and try to launch the game and that will be working good. Moving to the next one is all about you have to unplug monitors and everything. Tr imagine that you're trying to launch the game and the meanwhile if your USB ports are actually busy with connecting joystick and all these additional things you have to eject it completely from here. You have to eject everything. Uh, once you are done with ejecting everything you have to launch it. For example if anything is connected in the uh, USB port like uh, if pen drive or whatever it may be or any controllers are connected you have to eject it. After ejecting try to launch the game. Once it is launched connect it back then most probably try to play and this has worked for many of the users so that's what I'm saying you to do so. And we have to go to the next one that is all about you have to allow the game to antivirus windows security. For that just go over here search for control panel. Now go to Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here you just have to click on allow an app or features through Windows Defender. Now from here you just have to scroll down. Now scrolling down as you can see you will be able to see Assassin over here. So if it is not added you do not worry we can add it. For adding it just click on allow another app. Now from here go for browse. So now here this PC. Now from here open local DC. Now go to the installed path that is a program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam now from here click on steam then scroll down and navigate to steam apps select common then go to assassin's creed valhalla now from here scroll down once again select this particular one go for open now add it so if it is already added it will be you'll be getting error message but it's not added so add this once it is added you have to select this that is private and public both should be checked once it is done just close this try to launch the game and most probably the issue will be completely fixed. Moving to the next one is all about you have to install Microsoft Visual C++. So I will be providing few links in the description. So if you go to this you will be getting this option where is Microsoft Visual C++. You have to download it for x86 as well as x64. So the thing is you just have to check which one is yours. For that just go to settings. Now from here go to system scroll down and navigate to about. Over here you will be able to see that is minus 64 bit operating system. So you just have to go over here and download this one. Here I have already downloaded and installed this. So I'm not doing the same but you just have to download and install and try to uh, install it. After installing try to launch the game and that is what you have to do. Moving to the next one is all about you have to install my uh, graphics card manually. So I'll be providing both link for uh, Nvidia as well as for AMD drivers. So over here as you can see this is what it looks like when you go to the page. Now from here if we are having the product type. 
now we have to go to the product series now we just have to go to the product now select the operating system and language download etc so here i am on windows 11 so i have to select this one go for start search when you go for start search as you can see it will take a bit of time so here these are the available patches right now so a new version of driver version has been released on december 1 2022 which is around 527.37 mb so just download this and install the respective exe simultaneously if you're on the amd you just have to go over here select the graphics select the model so from here now go for submit once you are successfully click on this you'll be getting two options windows 11 as well as uh, windows 10 so select this one and download this so you have to download the amd software adrenaline edition for windows 11 users then if you're on windows 10 then you just have to download this one also try to install the .exe and once after that try to uh, you know uh, launch the game and most probably the issue will be completely fixed moving to the next one is all about you have to roll back the drivers sometimes you know when you install the latest version of graphic drivers you may that might be causing a lot of issue as well for some users not everyone but for some it has it happened for that just go to the start right click and go to device manager now from here go to display uh, adapters over here now from here select the respective display adapter right click and go to properties now go to driver now from here click on rollback driver so the latest version which has been if the device is fails after updating the driver roll back to the previous installed driver so by clicking this you'll be going back to the older driver then try to launch the game and that will be working good and this is what you have to do because sometimes with the latest version of uh, downloading has made a lot of issue for many users so that's what i'm saying because sometimes if it's not working just roll back the driver and you have to see whether you are able to fix the issue or not and also it is quite important as well we have to uh, show you how to disable steam overlay and overlay applications so overlay applications are like discord antivirus etc which is running in the background so i'll show you that just click on the start now go to task manager right now as you can see over here around five apps are running in my bag which I recently opened, which I'm using currently right now. That is Google Chrome, Screen Recorder, Steam, Steam Client and Task Manager. And apart from that, there are 95 background apps which is running and which is draining out my performance. So I have to select these and I have to go for end task. I have to do it one by one. Keep on doing, uh, doing the same End the task for everything. And you should not be doing it. And once you successfully do this, as you can see, once you do this successfully, most probably the issue regarding this will be completely fixed because all these kind of things are running in the background and they are draining our performance. So it is quite important as well that you just have to end the task for everything. Once you're done with this, right now it is 73. It was 95 when we started. Now you have to do the same. Once it is successfully done, then close everything and try to launch the game and most probably the issue will be completely fixed and also regarding the steam overlay so i'll uh, keep this because the game is around uh, a little bit large so we will be having the issue so select the over here right click and go to properties now from here under general there is an option called enable the steam overlay so you just have to enable this i mean you have to uncheck this right so this is quite important if it is checked it will be enabling the steam overlay but unchecking this is disabling the steam overlay and this is a very important step then try to launch the game and the issue will be completely fixed and these are the most possible workarounds which you have to try out when you are having this particular issue and also like i said the verify integrity of game file is also quite important and these are the possible workarounds which you have to do when the assassin creeds valhalla is not launching or it's crashing it is having stuck on loaded screen freezing stuttering low fps drop black screen issue and all those things and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification also i'll be providing a link in the description where you can navigate to our website get draw tips and you can read many more articles on the same and that's what it's all about it and i hope this video is helpful see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye